Authority Local Weather Forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's been a pretty great day out there in the desert southwest and taking a look outside on our RV World Yuma Skycam. Pretty clear out there, so really enjoy these clear blue skies for now because we're going to see a little bit of changes coming our way with our forecast. I'll get to that in just a moment here, but we do have those um, extremely hot temperatures still staying with us for now, but we were slightly a little bit cooler today. Yuma hit a high of 103, so we're starting to see those temperatures trend down, but that excessive heat warning is still staying in place until 8 p.m. tonight. So again, we're still going to stay pretty warm before we see a major decrease in our temperatures in the upcoming days. However, something to be aware of for tonight is we'll be pretty breezy. So we'll have those winds around 20 miles per hour. Could even see some gusts around 25 miles per hour occasionally. So again, we'll have some breezier conditions again for tonight. So just be aware of some, we can see some minor blowing dust and sand. So just make sure you're being aware of that. But we'll be uh, picking up with those winds again for tomorrow. So we could see some gusts even stronger and 30 miles per hour. So we are going to have some breezier days ahead because we're going to have a little bit of changes within our forecast. But first, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at our air quality index presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. It's looking overall not too bad out there. We have mixture of moderate and good, but nothing too, too crazy with our air quality. However, something I'm really tracking is Hurricane K. So Hurricane K is actually a category one hurricane and it's producing stronger winds up to 100 miles per hour and it's continuing to move along the Mexican coast and it's continuing to move up north. So here's a little bit on what I'm tracking with Hurricane K and where it's going. So again, it's going to continue to move up to the north and go to Baja, California. But then come Saturday, it's going to weaken just a little bit there and then it's going to make a shift to the west and into the Pacific. However, we are going to have a little bit of some impacts for us here in the desert southwest. So here's what I'm tracking with our what we can expect over the next several days here. So we're going to drop with our temperatures, have some winds and also heavy rainfall is forecasted, which could produce some flooding. So here's more of a detail on what we can expect with our conditions over the next few days, especially going into tomorrow is when we're really going to have that impact, especially starting with that moisture. So we're really going to see those dew points rise into the 70s and staying in the 60s. So it's going to be a little bit of a roller coaster going into tomorrow, but then come Friday is when that activity is really going to take in place because we're going to have that monsoonal moisture staying in place and it's going to feel very muggy and uncomfortable. So with that tracking some heavy rainfall, so even starting tomorrow, we'll have plenty of that moisture and some precipitation within the area. And then as we go into Fridays, when I'm really tracking for those um, heavier rains to uh, possibly occur within the area. So we have that surge of all that moisture and some storm activity going within the Imperial Valley, but we still have that chance for Yuma County to experience that as well. So we're going to have plenty of cloud coverage, plenty of moisture. So of course we have that chance for lots of storms to develop within Friday and Saturday, which is going to expected to be the greatest days. Now there is a flood watch that will go in place at 12 p.m. on Friday through Sunday at midnight and that is for the expected um, heavy rain that we could experience. So tracking we could experience some measurable rain even and could even see about an inch or even more. So we'll keep a close eye on that but still make sure you are aware because we have those rain chances staying in our forecast. So look at that. We're going to see some 50% uh, chance of rain going into Friday and Saturday. So on our eight day forecast we'll have those temperatures drop, but we have that rain likely for Friday and Saturday. So make sure you're being prepared because again, we could have that heavy rainfall produce as well with some flooding. And then of course, we'll have that still slight chance on Sunday. Back to you, Mercedes and Scott.